Let's make a simple yet amazing sleeve in Marvel Designer. But first, it's not step by step. So if you're working with that, let's continue watching. To make any sleeve, as you may know, you have to make a basic pattern. So make it first and then come here. Done? Alright, when you have the basic shape, now select the rectangle tool to draw a, well, rectangle. And then add a point right in the middle. But note, it doesn't have to be exact middle. Then convert this point into a curve point. And then use the curve tool to curve it and adjust it to make a simple sleeve pattern. And when you have the pattern, free saw like this and then hold shift and free saw like this. Adjust its location and simulate, of course. Well, this is a very simple basic sleeve. Let's make it better. Adjust its length to your liking. I really want to make it half sleeve, so I keep this here. And then sew like this. Add an interline like this. Select all four segments and then use Tress tool. Now first, select the Tress tool, then right click on any of the segments, Tress as a pattern. Segments are here, 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 and here. And in the 3D window, right click on the pattern, Super Impulse Over. Now you can delete this sewing, but don't delete any other sewing, please. Now add an internal line right in the middle. Right click on the line, offset as internal line. Both sides should be checked and distance 12 mm. Select these four points, right click, extend trim and add point to pattern outline. Now select these segments and add elastic. Now you can fine tune the gathering effect by adjusting the elastic ratio. Just remember less ratio equal more gathering. For now I'm keeping it at 30 but I might tweak it later. I will actually. Alright as you can see here in the bottom side of the sleeve does not look very amazing. So add a point here, here and here as well. Then select all three points, right click, align to point x-axis to align them horizontally. Now select these segments and uncheck the elastic and adjust its locations to make this area not very messy. Well, this leaf is taking shape, but hold there, there is a lot to cover. So select this, this, this and these segments, tress and delete these points, this segment and these points. Segments are here and here. Right click and super impulse offer and of course you know it simulate now you can see this pattern is so long so make it smaller even more just adjust everything accordingly like the unelastic segments distance and the increase the ratio of the elastic if you need and adjust the pattern and you're done no you are not because now the magic begins the particle distance of course Reduce it to your preferred level. For me, I reduce the particle distance of the main sleeve pattern to 6mm and this pattern may be 4 and this tiny cute little pattern may be 2 and simulate to see the magic. Well, when I unhide the avatar, I notice that this is not in the center. So I shift these three lines left side to make it in the better location in the 3D window because that's what matters the most, right? Now I'm adjusting the ratio of the elastic again and my final ratio is 40. Okay, now let's make this cute little pattern even better. First, select this, right click, layer clone over. Right click again and click remove linked editing. Delete the auto sewing and sew like this and simulate. Then select both patterns, reduce the collision thickness to 1 or maybe less. Select these segments, offset as internal line, maybe 2mm and hit OK. Segments for them and simulate of course. And when one side is done, select all patterns, Ctrl D to symmetric paste to the other side. Looks amazing, doesn't it? Yeah. Now to drape it even better, add a pose, any pose you prefer and bow. Amazing. And then you might want to add a texture to enhance it 
even further. And that's it. And lastly, if you have any issues related to this video, or if you have any questions, please feel free to comment. I really love them. And if you need my personal training for Clothes 3D or Marvelous Designer, contact me through Instagram. Link is in the description. Anyway, I'm going to save this angle for my video thumbnail. Until then, see you in the next video.